Found in the brackish and fresh waters of Central and South America, these fish possess one of the most extraordinary visual adaptations in the entire animal kingdom. While they are not primarily land walkers in the same vein as mudskippers or snakeheads, their unique eyes allow them to operate with remarkable efficiency at the interface of water and air. And they do engage in short terrestrial movements when navigating very shallow areas or stranded by receding tides. The four eyes are, in reality, two eyes. But each eye is horizontally divided into two distinct halves, each with its own pupil. The upper half of the eye is adapted for vision in air, while the lower half is adapted for vision underwater. This remarkable anatomical specialization allows them to cruise along the water surface, simultaneously scanning for aerial predators like birds from above, and for aquatic prey or threats from below. It is a perfect adaptation for life in the vulnerable surface layer of the water. When swimming at the surface, the waterline precisely bisects each eye. The lens itself is oval-shaped and its thickness varies, providing different refractive powers for the aerial and aquatic portions of the eye. This means the fish can focus on objects in both media at the same time, a feat of biological engineering that is truly astounding. This dual vision gives them an unparalleled awareness of their surroundings, crucial for survival in their often complex and predator-rich environments such as mangrove estuaries and tidal flats. While a primarily aquatic, their exceptional vision and surface dwelling habits mean they are intimately connected with the terrestrial environment. They often forage in very shallow waters along shorelines, where they might briefly expose their bodies or use their pectoral fins to push themselves over mud flats if stranded or moving between pools. Their diet consists mainly of insects that fall onto the water surface, as well as algae and small aquatic invertebrates. Their upward-looking aerial vision is perfectly suited for spotting these terrestrial insects. The four-eyed fish, therefore, represents a different kind of adaptation to the air-water interface. It's not about prolonged terrestrial excursions, but about mastering the visual challenges of this boundary zone. Their unique eyes are a testament to the power of natural selection to craft highly specialized sensory organs that provide a distinct survival advantage. Observing these fish as they glide along the water's surface, their divided eyes ever watchful, is to witness a creature perfectly attuned to its dual world, a living periscope navigating the complexities of its amphibious frontier. Isn't nature just amazing? 